Scorpios, welcome back to the channel. It's the same tarot. So let's just get into the no contact read. These are all general reads, not personal ones. So please take what resonates and throw out the rest. All the information should be in the description box when it comes to me. And let's get to it. How have you guys been? I hope that everybody has been just doing very, very well. Peace and light to everyone that is new and everyone that is returning. So the lovers have just came out here. First card, Gemini energy. For those of you who are dealing with a Gemini in this no contact situation, that person is coming out. And here you have it, Gemini, Scorpio, Virgo energy, Sag energy in the magician. <sighs> a lot of negativity between you and this person. I feel like what I'm seeing is like there's a lot of jealousy with this person's energy. And there's also this attraction as well that's coming through for both of you. There is no apology within the page of cups energy so tell me more you have to make a decision Scorps. this is what i'm seeing here you're gonna have to make a decision i feel like this person have eyes on others as well this is what i'm getting like this person have different choices this person doesn't want to talk to you as well i'm just seeing like a no communication situation this is a no communication read, but it's just right there in front of my face. You know, a lot of authority on it, a lot of manipulation on it, manipulating the truth as well, telling people that you have done this, you have did that, not taking responsibility for the situation here. I'm also seeing the Seven of Swords energy, so there's a lot of lies here as well within the Seven of Swords and this is in reverse so the lies are like out and about everybody knows what's going on um i just feel like this is embarrassing for you i'm here embarrassment this is what i'm hearing so let's see tell me more we have the fools here in reverse as well it's like you're walking on eggshells with this person because you just know something else is going to drop. I'm also seeing the chariot in reverse. Like this person is quite confused what they want. So this is a back and forth situation. I'm seeing Cancer here as a major arcana. I'm also seeing Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. <laughs> Gemini is coming up a lot. Um, hmm. The Eight of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. So there's a lot of cups. I feel like there's a lot of emotions involved. I'm also seeing a lot of regret here. Like the way things have been done or the way things have been left, there was no clarity, there was no closure. I'm feeling like this person wants to get past this as well as you do. I'm also seeing the Nine of Swords in reverse. It's like you're choosing to forgive or to let go or to release this energy. I'm also seeing the Ten of Cups. You still feel like there is something here, Scorpios. I can get like you still feel like there is something here between you and this energy. There's still like this happily ever after or this picture that you and this person can have together that is coming out within this read. I'm also seeing the justice here. The justice and the death. Justice is ruled by Libra, Scorpio rules the death. So there is going to be balance coming back here. I'm also seeing moving on from this energy like you're not stuck but you do see a future with this person but you're not stuck Ooh, two of cups who is this <laughs> oh my so this person is with two different people or you are with two different people because it seems like scorpio you're moving on with someone else and this is the justice, like you have someone else here. 
Like someone else is going to come into your life. You're going to be moving on in a deeper relationship. This is not going to be a physical situation, but you are going to be attracted to this person as well. I'm seeing that you're going to have some kind of foundation with this person. And it's going to be really serious. The Ten of Pentacles. This is going to be a long-term relationship coming through for you. And <laughs> this is why you're not stuck. And this is why you have to make a choice. Because you have different options here. It's like you like somebody, but this person don't want to talk to you. It's been like... <laughs> it's been like negative since this person came into your life because they're the magician in reverse so they have been planting negative seeds against you and they won't apologize for this and i'm seeing like this was a slow burn okay because it seems like this person that you were into as well was very again confused but now this person is having like a lot of regrets here and they want to move forward with you. And you still like them too because here you are with this happy ever after picture. <laughs> and you forgave and released a lot of energy. But I'm seeing you definitely having this justice on your end, being able to move on. But the Three of Swords is here. And then you have the Queen of Swords. Um in reverse as well like i'm seeing like you're still like something is bothering you here <sighs> oh my gosh what is this i feel like you're gonna sabotage this new relationship that's coming in because you're still into someone that has not even treating you well your heart is broken <laughs> From this third party situation which was this past energy this person that's coming in back into your life so a lot of you right now you are definitely falling into some kind of new relationship you met someone new this person <laughs> and if this doesn't resonate with you don't worry about it but this is for scorpios that this resonate with there is someone new that you just have this okay like this soulmate vibe with like this is real real long term opportunity this is like justice courthouse material um that's coming through but your heart is still somewhere else and i feel like this is a warning for those of you scorpios that are going to sabotage this relationship be very careful even though i do see this person like they want to be able to move forward from this because they're having some kind of regret is this a good idea in the Ten of Cups, Holy Spirit? Is this a good idea for Gemini? To, not Gemini. Oh my God. Someone is dealing with a Gemini. For Scorpio to go back to this person. That could be a gem. For <laughs> instance. Because I'm just seeing like a lot of gems here. Okay. Let's see. The moon. No. It's not a good idea. Follow your intuition within the moon it's not this person made you fall into some kind of depression anxiety and stress okay and you chose to like release that within a nine of swords energy and be better and be free so this person from your past put you through a lot and your angel guides are saying no do not go back to that but a lot of you are still in love with the past because you haven't healed you haven't got the clarity from this person and I feel like getting clarity is one thing, but making sure that you are faithful to another is is definitely something that you need to make sure that it's at the, the, the forefront. Because right here is this looking like you're about to cut this two of cups off too. It's like you're about to stop talking to that two of cups and you're going to be heartbroken. Okay, so what is... <laughs> So that was a perfect relationship okay so tell me about this this uh queen of swords is this a good idea for scorpio or what is this what is this what is this uh queen of swords energy for scorpio okay it's saying six of pentacles six of pentacles is i'm just seeing like you need to balance things out you have unfinished business balance that out if you have unfinished business 
Um, but you feel like within this moment that you can't deal with both. This is what I'm getting. Like you can't be in love with someone and then this past energy is coming up that you're still clearly... For some of you, you're still sleeping with this person or every chance that you get, you do because... Um, or this could be in reverse where, you know, Scorpio, somebody is playing you. But I'm just seeing like the Two of Cups is in the upright, the, the Lovers is in the upright as well. So it's like there's two potential situation here. But when I first started to read your card, I just felt like you need to make a decision here. I'm also seeing the Four of Swords. So who are you cutting off? Looks like you're blocking people. Like you don't want to talk to anybody right now. You're trying to protect your heart. I'm seeing an Aries energy as well, um, or this could be you that are just tapped into fire and you're just like trying to really like control this outcome and control your state of mind here. Um, I'm seeing someone's waiting, watching, spying, five of wands energy. They're waiting to resolve this five of wands, the arguments, the conflict, the competition, I feel like this is your past. This is a person that planted a lot of negative seeds against you and they're trying to come back and resolve this, okay? But a lot of you are working on yourself here, working really hard at work. I'm seeing promotion for those of you. But there is someone coming back that you gave so much of your energy to and I feel like they have lost so much since you. And I feel like that's that, you know, negative force of energy here. There's a contract. There's a contract. <laughs> this is why this person is coming back. Because there's a contract here. You know, the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like this person was very lazy with you. So, okay. Let's just see what we can get. Tell me about this magician, Holy Spirit, for Scorpio. This magician. What's the energy of this person coming through? The energy of this person coming through the magician. Person energy coming through. The three of pentacles in reverse. Again, you and this person didn't vibe well you guys didn't get along you didn't want the same things you were moving different way um than this person was there was no compromise there was a huge distance between from you and this person this could have been long distance but i don't feel like this is like going into something long distance i feel like this is more um just growing in different directions and then i'm hearing that it's been a while since you guys have seen each other too and then it has the king of cups so this person has a lot of love for you despite everything tell me about the apology stubbornness egonistic energy this person is also a narcissist from your past narcissists they want to have you to themselves the angels are watching this judgment is also called and decided so this person's experienced some kind of karmic situation here they were being watched everything was recorded within judgment so not to spank this person but this person was just losing everything losing everything within their energy <laughs> Just like how we saw that six. I don't even know where it was because I keep shuffling. That six of wands energy that came up. And this person was losing that. Yeah, here it is. Losing the energy. Losing everything that you have helped them with. All right, tell me about the king of swords in reverse. The six of swords. They didn't want this to happen, but they did it anyway. They let it go. They let this happen. They wanted to fight for this relationship. The foundation. The dream. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. This lies. All the lies that they were trying to get away with. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Your moon energy. 
your angels are coming up again and saying that but you knew though because you knew that this person was doing the most your angel guides are saying hey scorpio we have let you in on this we gave you dreams we gave you um signs that this person was up to no good tell me more all right a page of wands but despite this you made it out though because i'm that's what i'm hearing like they give you a new form of way to get out of this situation like everything that happened the transition it was because of your angel guides that are trying to take you out of this situation from your past and giving you something that you wanted more for yourself and now this two of cups is here and you don't want it <laughs> that's what i'm seeing like this two of cups this is your justice this is the transition this is the two of cups and this is the whole foundation that you're going to build right which is such a wonderful energy by the way wonderful energy and then you have the queen of swords and the three of swords it's like you're saying to this person i can't love you right now i need to heal and it's like you lost your balance you know it's like you jumped from one relationship to another not expecting to find your soulmate so soon that's what i'm getting here because there is not there is nothing else why you would have sabotaged this <sighs> because you love this person too you love them. You love this person. Mutual feelings here. And this is shared feelings. So it's a difference between twin flame and soulmate. Mutual and shared. Mutual and shared. So take that how you resonate with that. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. I feel like. I feel like when it's mutual, it's like you can't love anybody else so easily. But when it, like, you share feelings for this person, it's like, oh, yeah, we have similar energy. You don't know what it is. You don't know what to call it, what to title that feeling. You know, it's just like, it's shared feelings. <laughs> yeah, I like them too. I like them too. Kind of vibe, I don't know. But I'm just seeing, like, with this person, the past person, you were moving very slowly towards them because they did something to you they hurt you they hurt you they walked away from you and now they're regretting it like i said again three times already so tell me about the fool's holy spirit wow they stopped talking to you in the king of king of swords so that's why what is this they got comfortable really quickly in the four of cups or this got really repetitive. Um, like this person was inconsistent. This person was in and out of your life as well. Tell me about the chariot. Wow, trials and tribulations, and you were burnt the hell out, tired. The nine of wands energy. No apology, twice. Like, this person is very prideful. They don't feel like they're in the wrong. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Three of Swords. They, they sabotage this connection, too. It's like, yo, it's like the Twin Flame energy. I feel like you guys are dealing with a Twin Flame, and then you've got your soulmate down here. Um, and it's like they sabotage this connection. But I feel like because they sabotage, you know, like sometimes you just like because somebody sabotaged a connection or made you feel like you weren't good enough or you weren't lovable or you weren't somebody that they wanted in that moment or they left you for someone else. You're devastated and you have that energy like, why didn't they choose me? So when now your soulmate comes around and they give you all this love and affection and but you're still yearning for your twin flame because that person is the one that you truly want because that person rejected you not so your soulmate so they sabotage you and now you're sabotaging your soulmate which is going to be a karmic energy so 
you guys need to be careful and this is um this three of swords that they put upon you the twin flame connection it seems to be they're saying that you guys have been separated for so long right with the three of wands but this is like still there as like recent heartbreak so crazy let me see what's really what's hiding here let's see let's see if we can get some numbers and see what they're hiding what's the secret when it comes to this connection holy spirit holy angels holy father for scorpio Ooh, revenge like this person will needed revenge upon you i'm just seeing like something happened before or they're saying that you hurt them first this was a cycle this was a pattern they've been watching you scoping you waiting so this is the person that is a hangman energy spying on you waiting for the the right time to hurt you the right time to do this this was organized crime let me tell you this person stay running or leaving you something that this person wants you to feel i'm seeing a meet in here like getting together with this person this could be with mutual friends other people tell me more they're stay on your social media here comes because they actually regret this you see the regret here but they can't help themselves okay and I'm also seeing feminine energy. So this person is sensitive. This is what I'm getting. Family introduced you or they know your family or they know where you're from or they, they grew up with your, um, with your family, your hometown. I'm just getting hometown with that card. They know your deepest secrets. They know your solitude. This is what I'm getting here. Something about motherly energy. I'm seeing like you're trying to leave this situation. <laughs> this is toxic because a lot of you really thought about hurting yourself or harming yourself. But this person has said that they were going to harm you or they're going to harm themselves as well. But I'm seeing you trying to leave this situation. I'm seeing you trying to break free from this situation. This is why... You are so happy here within this energy, but then something happened. Like you couldn't balance both of them out. And if you couldn't balance them out, there's a lot of juggling going on here. This is why the choice is so important. All right. So there is some kind of money issue coming up. And I'm also seeing like inside of your relationship, your foundation, where it looks very dim or dark, hollow. And you need to remember that. That's what I'm being told. Like there is no light at the end of the tunnel this time. If you go back, I don't know. All right, somebody's trying to stop you because it says cock block. <laughs> somebody's trying to stop you from moving on, or someone's trying to stop you from going back. But either way. All right, so tell me more for Scorpio. Wow, the spirits are with you. Like you have a light so bright that no one with dark magic can come against you. So you're blessed. Someone is trying to have readings on you, babe. Or some kind of spell work on you. Because they don't want you to move on. They feel like you're going to move on. You're going to find somebody new. And you are. Your soulmate is in root. For those of you who are, are not in a relationship yet. Your soulmate is in root. Okay. So this person knows that. Because they're getting readings on you. And their you know, spiritual advisor is letting them know that. Hey. <laughs> 
much this person is about to meet someone someone that they're, they're going to be in a relationship with for a very long time and have a family with and if you already have kids you're about to have more kids okay with this soulmate energy i'm seeing a whole family cards just fall like right to the ground you guys i'm seeing legal issues as well court issues taking this person to court trying to immigration is also coming up here trying to get a divorce for some of you um i feel like some of you are trying to like um change lawyers as well like you just feel like your lawyer is not doing a good job you know there's a lot of ego energy that is making it really rough to come to a settlement this person is out to hurt you to get you i don't know this person is giving me a vibe like they were saying that you hurt them first and they couldn't just they couldn't get over it <clears throat> and they wanted revenge this is all about revenge or this could be in reverse where you want revenge so keep that in mind but it's also it's like love and hate like one moment you love this person the next moment you hate this person and they feel the same way here i'm getting threatened i'm getting weapons i'm getting guns i'm gonna shoot you you stay away from me i'm feeling like this person is trying to work you or work other people around you they're wearing different masks different faces I feel like this person wants to force you back into a relationship that you don't want to be in. Um, you're making somebody's life a living hell. Why am I hearing that? Like you're, you feel bad because you're trying to get out of this toxic situation, and you're and, and you're with a healthy person, which is your soulmate. This is what I'm seeing. Like you're going to be in a healthy relationship with your soulmate, and you feel bad. And I'm seeing like you're cutting off your soulmate because you just need to heal. You can't be with them. Like you're sacrificing your own happiness because this person won't let you go. This um, twin flame vibe <laughs> won't let you go. All right, let me just see what the numbers are because we're getting we're getting into it. All right, so what's the numbers for Scorpio? Scorpio, this could be their birthday. This could be the date the day that they were born on. The numbers could also be in reverse as well. So keep that in mind. Um, then we're going to pull the um, the months um the months uh what you call it uh wooden wood special wood energy <laughs> and see what months resonate for you and what's going to be the highest vibration for you if it's going to be this year we have a couple months left this year scorpio and then we have the new year starting january so let's just see the numbers first we're going to pull let's do three numbers for you scorpio three numbers for Scorpio. all right so we have three and then we have number one so we have 31 here all right so this could definitely be uh the birthday the birthday of the person or it could be um what is it march 1st or this could be number 13 okay which could be also be their date um or it could be january 3rd okay so keep that in mind. So what's the next number, Holy Spirit? <sighs> For Scorpio. All right, we have 40. Okay. We have 40. Or we have April, the month of April. Okay. Or we have just four. Number four as well. So keep that in mind. And then what's the next number? All right, we have number three and number one. So this could be 13, okay? Like I said before, this could be January 3rd or it could be March 1st and it could also be 31. So number 13 or 31. And I feel like this came up twice already, didn't it? I don't know, let's do another one, the last one. So it's gonna be four numbers instead of three. All right, so we have five and we have zero. So this is 50, or this could be the month of May, all right? Or this could be number five alone, okay? Number five. So let's just see what the months are looking like for you. 
All right, what's the month? What's the highest vibration for Scorpio? The month, the month. Okay, we have September, we have January. I don't know what it is. Everybody's getting January, you guys. So we have January also, and we have August. So August is sometime next year, okay? <laughs> and August is summertime for those of you. So the summer of next year, August. And then we have January that's coming up for those of you. We also have um, September that we're in right now. So this is the highest vibration for those of you is this month of September, or it's going to be next year as well. All right. So this is what I have for you. I hope that this resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video, give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel, and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye guys.